have you ever in your life tried to weigh yourself in a unique way? Maybe it was because you wanted certain results or you thought it was the best way to do it. It's easy to get the scale to pump out a bunch of numbers. But when it comes right down to it, there's only one measurement that reflects reality. And while not as entertaining, a similar situation exists with push-pull. We can manipulate our push-pull readings to be low or high. The standards that we use, if we use any at all, can be either too fast or too slow if we're looking at injury risk. In fact, we can modify them so much that our results can be literally 10 times higher or lower from each other. Even though we can get the gauge to pump out a bunch of numbers, there's only one measurement that best reflects how an actual person normally pushes and therefore how at risk he or she is when pushing a cart. To make sure that you're protected, get the best measurement guidelines from a study conducted by the Ohio State University Spine Research Institute in conjunction with the CDMI. See the information below.